Hey guys, how you doing? This is Kaylana, the Blush Driver here, and I've been wanting to do this video for like weeks and weeks, and so this is probably like my third or fourth attempt because the sun keeps blaring in here. But anyway, um, I wanted to share something with you guys because I know a lot of people have been uh, making comments about uh, should wealthy people or wealthy customers be obligated to tip. And this goes on any app-based gig community. This goes on any platform. And this, can, and this can also apply to those who are maybe servers in a restaurant or maybe work for a delivery company like pizza delivery or something like that. So it kind of goes around the board. So I, I guess I'll kind of just stick with um, the app-based gig community, I guess. And so, um, and I, I think it's a good thing that Uber finally did break down and um, offer tipping options for the drivers. And I think Lyft has tipping as well, which is good. However, um, I know Instacart, they offer tips, you know, they offer tipping. And now it's like a mandatory thing where I think it's like an automatic 5% to the shopper, but the customer can waive that if they want to pay them more, which is good. Um, now, I'm kind of neutral on this. And I'm just going to give my opinion, okay? This is just my opinion. This is how I feel. And you can take it or leave it however you want. Um, but when it comes to tipping, should a wealthy person or a wealthy family, whatever, be obligated to tip you just because they have money or because they're well-to-do? And one thing to consider is what do you consider well-to-do? What do you consider wealthy or rich? And of course, I know most of us, like especially me, me here in Florida, in the Orlando area, there are a lot of wealthy neighborhoods. Um, especially depending on what area you go to like like here in like the winter park area maitland which is where i'm at right now um there's so many parts of orlando like in windermere um islesworth like the like butler area I mean, there's so many areas even in um the aliqua lake mary heathrow area uh and, and i'm just talking about here in central florida um even spring valley area you know um and it depends on where you are celebration which is out there near disney you know um maybe where you are parts of miami I know it can be very well off. I mean, I mean, it depends. I'm, I'm just talking about here in Florida, okay? And so, um, working on different platforms, I've delivered to a lot of wealthy people, and they've tipped me very nicely. Um, and some just tip the minimum, and some didn't tip at all. And so, I have found that, you know, um, it's kind of like half and half. Like, you know, just regular middle class people um, tip and some didn't and even lower class people some tip more and i found that of course delivering to wealthy neighborhoods yeah they tip pretty good but they don't always tip you feel me and just like if i were to deliver to a just a typical middle class um you know uh, neighborhood i found that sometimes people that might not make as much as the wealthier people tip me more for some reason um I don't know why, but that's just the way it is. And so, um, but it varies. And so like the largest tip that I've gotten was a $70 tip. Um, and that was from Instacart from a, from a, uh, from a customer. And that was only because I was waiting outside for a very long time. And the husband was upstairs with the kids and they, he didn't hear me downstairs. And so I was texting the wife back and forth on the platform. And so I guess for the inconvenience, she tipped me $70, but it was, it was a well-to-do family. Um, very nice, very sweet people. But, um, you know, I don't ask for tips, you know what I'm saying? And so I just don't want you guys to get so distracted and overwhelmed if you don't get tipped by somebody that's well off. And you guys know what a wealthy person is is and so however just because you're delivering to a well-to-do neighborhood or a rich neighborhood does not always necessarily mean they have money extra money to spend now i know you're thinking okay well why would they order out or why would they order a service and they don't have enough money to tip well i don't know and that's really none of my business however um everybody that looks like they have a lot may not so they might be living paycheck to paycheck you know they might be in in a in a place of bankruptcy you just never know and so um Honestly, like, I feel like that's their money. And I, I say this a lot in my videos, you guys have seen it, that's their money, you know? And we can't make somebody give money if they don't want to. Now, should they? Uh, they don't have to, but it would be nice if they did. And of course, providing a service, like if you're shopping for them for groceries, tipping is great. Um, or if you're delivering their food, you know, if you're picking them up and giving them a ride and you know, just different things. And so. If you think about it, a lot of wealthy people don't become wealthy by spending money. They become wealthy by saving it. And I know that may sound selfish, and in a way, it makes sense. And that's just the way it is. But um, it would seem more generous if they did or if they were able to do that. And I know that some of you guys were like, yeah, you know, they told me that like they would tip me on the app or they would give me the money later and, and like they never did. Well, that's how they become wealthy is because they kind of like 
jit people sometimes, you know, and it's unfortunate and it happens. And so, but just don't be so, don't let that bother you because some of you guys may even deliver to a celebrity or a, um, or, or a sports, you know, star, you know, maybe like a basketball player, a football player or something like that. And I know we have a lot of those here in, in Florida. Um, we have like a lot of, uh, basketball players that live here and they kind of come and go. And I've heard stories where um, some people deliver Uber Eats or, or like they delivered Grubhub or it was something and they never tipped them or, or like they tipped them like, like a few dollars. And so, um, yeah, they may have millions of dollars. Yeah, they may have like a, a substantial amount of money, but unfortunately, if they look at it like that, that's their money. And so if they don't want to tip you, they don't have to. And would it be good if they did? Yeah. And to me, you know that is to me that's, that's a wise thing to do and i'm not just saying that because you know i'm on the platforms but because it's just common sense it's just common courtesy rather and so um but we can't force somebody to do something that they don't want to do and i know it may seem like you know kind of like degrading if you're delivering to like this two or three million dollar house or um, half a million dollar house and all they tip you is like five dollars or they don't, they don't tip you at all and it's, and it's like a large order, or even if you're like delivering your pizza or a meal or something like that, and they tip you like $2 or they don't tip you at all, you're like, how can they do that? Like, how can, well, that's just the way that it is. And so just, just count your blessings. There's a lot to be grateful for besides worrying about that. And yeah, I don't think it's necessarily right. However, um, I'm gonna say it again, that's their money. And so also look at, look at it coming from their perspective like what if you were the customer and you were well off and you were wealthy and you know um you know you felt pressured by somebody to you know tip them and stuff like that and so i'm not saying it's right i'm not on their side i'm not i'm just kind of neutral about it but i understand where you guys are coming from because i've been there because I've, I've delivered to wealthy neighborhoods and i'm like how can they not tip you know i thought about that but after a while i get used to my like, you know whatever it is what it is and so you know, and also don't, one thing to do, like one thing you guys, I want you guys just to know, like, please listen to me. <laughs> um, I see this a lot. Like if you guys deliver to a wealthy neighborhood and they're well off, do not take a picture of their house. Do not take a picture, like a screenshot of their address, their name, their pic, none of that. Even if the picture doesn't have the, the house number, but it has a picture of the house or the street, whatever, don't do that. I see a lot of people on these app-based gigs doing that. Like they take a picture and they post it in these groups on Facebook and they're like, oh, I wonder how much this person's gonna tip me. You know, I probably I probably won't get a tip at all. Well, you know what, you don't deserve a tip, especially if you're putting people's personal business out there like that. Like if, you, if you're taking a picture of someone's house and that's their personal property, like 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 what if they're on vacation or what, what if they're hiding from somebody or what if, you know, what if they're like a, you know, a, a government official, like whatever. Please don't do that. That's like an invasion of privacy. And I know I'm, I might get slammed for saying that, but it's true. Like, and if you're guilty of doing that, don't do that anymore. Um, you know, because what if they, what if someone just happens to come around that picture or maybe someone that knows that person and they report you, you know, I mean, you could be in a lot of trouble. And so, you know, um, whether or not, you know, you deliver to a wealthy person, it shouldn't matter because ultimately, you know, they worked hard for what they got. And not that a person who doesn't have as much doesn't, but um, I think people put too much emphasis on, okay, I can't wait to deliver to the wealthy because, you know, they can afford it. And even if they could afford it and they don't bless you because of that, just let it go. Um, you know, it, it would be nice, like I said, if they did, but I would not worry too much about it and, and let it stress you out. Um, and also don't like, don't like put people down, even if they do have it and they don't give it to you. You know, because it could just be a test for you and the season of your life, just based upon your response to how they respond to you. Because I've, I'm, I'm still learning this, you know, and, and especially dealing with my response to certain issues regarding customers. Because, um, I mean, I, I don't go out and do anything. I, I'm not supposed. To. I'm just saying, like, sometimes you just gotta bite your tongue. You know, and even if you know that the, that that they're not gonna tell you the truth as far as tipping you. You know, just let it go and just go about your business and continue to do your job, you know. Um, but like I said, you guys, they don't really have to tip you. Um, and I know you would think that it would be right if they did, especially rolling up in these nice neighborhoods and stuff like that. But just just let, excuse me, just, just let things be. Um, don't let it stress you out. And so, uh, once again, that's their money. And we can't get upset about their money because it's not yours. 
Um, you know what I'm saying? Even though you're working, you know, you we, we all get the base pay of whatever the app base or, or whatever the company is that they give us. And are tips nice? Absolutely. And tips are, can be a very large portion of our income. And at least for me it is because tips are like at least half or more than half of what I make um, based upon the, you know, like, like the company that I'm with, whether it be Uber Eats or Grubhub or DoorDash or Instacart, whatever. Uh, tips make up a large portion of what I make and so um, and, and, and if any of you customers out there that are well off and you ain't tipping I want y'all to think about that <laughs> it helps a lot it blesses us a lot so anyway guys I just want to share that two cents with you I'll talk with you guys later God bless you and tomorrow is my birthday I will be 40 peace